you feel is the more important player to have back for Arizona? The more important player coming back is Donovan Lay as he started all 24 games in his past two years at Arizona. And he really is going to be that main blindside uh, protector of uh, quarterback Grant Canell this year. And he's a big part of that offense, trying to push start Ganell's career and see if he's that that uh, next level um, quarterback. And yeah, the situation was just very weird how I, I just never seen something like that. I just He came out, he's transferring, now he's back in. It's just like, it just brings it back to, it seems like the whole situation with the program is just like all up in the air and, and just all these guys transferring, moving in and out. It's just, it's very weird. Yeah, I, I have to agree. I think the fact that Donovan Lay is coming back for Arizona is huge, right? I mean, like I mentioned, the Wildcats lost a ton of talent on the defensive side of the ball. I think their only hope this upcoming season was that the returning talent on the other side of the ball was going to be enough for them to win some games. So uh, that offensive line in particular uh, could potentially be one of the bright spots for the Wildcats with uh, with all those returning players. So the fact that Lay is going to be there this season to kind of lead that offensive line is, is just huge. I mean, because, you know, he, he's the best alignment on the team, right? Like, I think, like, Donovan Lay has some legit NFL talent. Like, mm-hmm. he, he's never missed a game for Arizona in his two years there. Uh, he started all 24 games. Um, so, like if, you, like, if you were to make a list of all of Arizona's offensive linemen and mm-hmm. you ordered them based on which ones you wouldn't want to see leave, I think Donovan Lay is, like, the first name on there. Yeah, yeah, I I agree. That's what I that's what I've been hearing from everyone that I've uh, read and um, yeah looked at. He he's he's a very important piece. And when I saw that, I was very concerned for for Gunnell's season. I'm not, and on the other side, uh, Kevin Doyle. I mean, he's a talented guy. I, uh, I just he hasn't got much playing time here, so there hasn't been much opportunity to see him. But there's I'm not that concerned with the backup quarterback spot on this team. I don't know. I was actually just going to talk about Kevin Doyle because I think him opting back into the season is actually a bigger deal than we might actually think. Because, I mean, sure, we we already know Gunnell is going to be the clear cut starter, right? Like he's going to be in every game if he's healthy. But, you know, after that, I think the rest of the depth chart is pretty up for grabs, right? Behind Gunnell. So, I mean, I mean, I I guess we could assume that Rhett Rod seems to be like the number two guy if Gunnell were to go down, you know, just because he has the experience and he knows the playbook the best. But, you know, if we're being honest, I don't, I don't really see Rhett Rod being that guy for Arizona in the next year or two. So, like, I, like we all know what kind of player Rhett Rod is at this point, right? I mean, we don't know what kind of player Kevin Doyle is, and we shouldn't have, we, we wouldn't have known uh, for another year if he were to opt out. So, to have him back with the team to kind of get some more chances to get some more reps in that QB, I think it's a pretty, it's a pretty big deal actually, because. I don't know. I mean, like, obviously, we all want to see Gennel play, right? But Arizona might find themselves in a situation where, you know, they're, they're down 30 and it's the start of the fourth quarter and, you know, we're, we're throwing the towel in. I mean, if we're, you know, we put the backups in or whatever. And one of those guys that I would like to see get some t- time and get some reps in this year is Kevin Doyle, just because we don't know what, how good he might be. We haven't seen him play yet. So I don't know. I think him coming back to the team is actually a bigger deal than, than what we might think. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm, I'm also um, intrigued to see if he can get some playing time maybe in situations like that. But in the grand scheme of things is he's probably, if everything goes right with Grant Canal, it'd be best for the team if we didn't see much of Kevin Doyle in the future. I mean, he's only, he's only a redshirt sophomore. So, I mean, you want to look past um, the years ahead of Ganell. I mean, assume that Ganell is the guy and he's going to be, you know, an NFL prospect in the next year or so. Like that depth chart behind him needs to kind of have some sort of order. And, you know, Red Rod's going to be gone by the time Ganell is gone. So, you know, you have, you have uh, Kevin Doyle there, uh, Will Plummer, um, Clay Millen's going to get some reps in. So it's like all these guys are kind of just all in the same kind of general area of like, we don't know how good they can be. So they're all kind of on the same level right now. That's why I think Kevin Doyle coming in right now and, hopefully getting some reps this season is probably the best for the team. It's best for himself as well. Yeah. I mean, the, the way the years add up is if, if, uh, if Gunnell, um, if he plays this year and he plays well and only in the short season, then next year and goes on to the draft, hopefully then yeah, maybe 
maybe in that senior season we'll see Doyle shine and in that main role. But yeah, the quarterback group for the future looks pretty bright with, uh, they've got a lot of good guys I want to see in the coming years. Well, uh, 